How is your death pile doing? A death pile is a pile or multiple piles, as most of us have, of many items that we bought in order to resell, but we just haven't listed them yet. You need to list them. Therefore, I don't know about you, but no one is knocking on my door asking for items from my death pile. They only buy from me items that I've listed on eBay. Isn't that amazing? You've got to list your death pile. Sometimes you just don't even know where to start on certain items. And we're going to talk a lot about comps, doing comps in this in this series, in this channel, in this Facebook group, the Ultra Advanced eBay Guide that all of you ought to be members of. It's free and it's easy to join. There's nothing to it. And you'll, you'll be able to ask a lot of questions there. You can also ask questions here. Post a question below on anything whether it's related to this or not, and I always will respond to you. Here's a nice picture of a big death pile. It looks like there's some cool stuff in there, but it simply does no good to whoever owns this because it's not listed. So let's take one item out of this and just say that we ran across this old gas can, oil can, something can at some point, and we need to list it, but we don't really know much about it. But you look at the, the label there and you kind of... You kind of learn, well, it's by Just Right. That's the company name. And you, you know that you need to list it. So where do you start? You have to know what the comps are. You have to know what they have sold for in the past. You have to look at eBay to see what they've sold for recently. And if there aren't any recently, then you have to go back a year or more. The problem with looking at comps on eBay's platform is... Comps sold items only go back three months. So let's go to eBay's platform, shall we? If I want to look at right can, then it gives me a lot of these for sale, but they're all for sale. It does not do me any good to know that a new just right can is selling for $122. It does me no good because I'm trying to sell this old vintage one. As a matter of fact, it might even be antique. I don't think it's 100 years old, but we don't really know. So I want to find the used ones. But at the same time, even if I click used, it still doesn't do me any good because these all these all are for sale. Here's one for $45. Does that mean I can sell mine for $45? I can sell mine for $45. It doesn't mean anyone's going to buy it. Therefore, you have to do what? You have to click sold items. Now, I realize that a lot of times you're going to be doing this at a garage sale on your cell phone. Okay, You can do the very same thing on your cell phone. Very same thing. Click solds and all of this. Whenever you're saying, should I buy this or not in order to resell it? They're selling it for $5. Is it worth me paying five in order to make possibly 45 or 20 or whatever it is? So now you can go through and look at items that are sold. Anything with a line through it means that was sold as a best offer, a best offer. Therefore, we don't, it didn't actually sell for $35, but probably it was close. It probably was no less than $25 and Probably more like closer to 30 than 25 this seller took for this item. Boy, look at how bad these pictures are. You're going to just out, you're going to outsell all, anyone trying to compete against you whenever you watch a few of these videos and learn how to do things right. But this gives us an idea of price. 14, 19, all of these differ from what we were looking at, but okay. Now the problem with looking at these is if you don't find one exactly like you are trying to sell, then you cannot then that might be because you can only go back three months at most. Whenever you click sold, eBay only gives you three months worth of data. So maybe none have sold like yours. That's the nice thing and the bad thing about one of a kind types of items is one of these just right cans in this condition may not have sold in the last three months. So you can't really tell what it sold for nine months ago because you can't look at eBay and click sold and look at anything over three months old. That's why eBay provides us with TerraPeak. TerraPeak goes back more than three months up to three years. That's really nice. You go to TerraPeak, you go to your seller hub, click research, and then you click TerraPeak product research. And when you do that, you will be here. Now, this is like a search engine for eBay only of sold items for the last three years. So you look at the label and you realize, well, this is a this is a just right manufacturing company. This might be, a t wish that pop-up wouldn't happen there. Sorry about that. But anyway, just look at what I copied in here. It's a just right manufacturing company, Safety Can, Chicago, Red, Illinois. I'm trying to type everything I can that might find this thing 
And I'm going to click in the last seven days. No. The last 90 days. No, that doesn't. Why would I go to Terapeak and choose 90 days when eBay's sold items automatically defaults to 90 days? Six months? Well, that gives me twice as much data. I want to go back three years. I want to see if I can find all of this three years ago. Click research. And it found one. And it says, we couldn't find any sold results in the date range you've selected. We've switched to active listings. Well, that's not good, but I can tell you why. It's because when you're looking for comps, you don't want to put all these details. A lot of people put too much detail when they're searching, and they don't find any comps. And they go, well, this must not ever sell on eBay. That's not true. There's too much stuff here. It's a, it's a just right can, red, because some of them aren't red. That's it. What if we just did this? Oh, what if, what if we went back three years and only look? If you don't find many search results, it's often because you put too much stuff to search for. This is all you need to search for. Brand, can, color. I'm going to click three years. I want three years worth of comps, and I want to research it. Now eBay should find a lot that were sold, and sure enough, in the last three years, I can find a lot more. Now, some of these are, they look new. Some of these were sold in auctions and all of that. So you can narrow this down. Now, we're looking for something that looks like this, and we're not really finding it yet. The Just Right still makes cans, it looks like. So what we want to do is we want to go condition used. Okay, we only want used because this is an old can. And then we're going to click, let's see, used and then apply. And it will redo my three years worth of search. And it will find these look a little better. These look a little closer to what I'm really going for. Those others were just too new. But there are more ways that I can narrow this. I don't care about auctions. I just want fixed price and best offer accepted. That will narrow it down and get me a better price range. Some of these are still just too new. I hate to search for the word vintage because a lot of these don't have vintage. I guess let's add vintage just to see what happens. I want to filter out some of those newer types of cans. This helps. There's one very similar to what we're looking for kind of looks like that. Now, it's not red, it's brown, but it's telling us $26.95, okay? Here's one, red safety can, it looks like $25, okay? Here's one, $16.50, but it went in as an auction. That's odd. I didn't want, I wanted best price and fixed price apply. So now we won't look at auctions anymore. Here's one for $18, here's one for $11. It looks like we can get from really about Oh, $18, $14 or $15 to $25 or $30, depending on the condition of our can. And, you know, are, they, are there dents? Is there not any dents? Does the steel, seal still seal all of that? Does the handle still open and close? Whatever the condition is, I can base my price now on a pretty good idea of a price range. I don't know why this person only sold his or hers for $11.00. But maybe something was wrong with it, or maybe the seller has no idea what, how to do comps, how to go back three years. One more thing I want you to do. We're going to come back to Terapeak and talk about the powerful ways that you can grow your business with Terapeak. But if you click sort by date last sold, and the way that you do that is you just click on that last column, and it will now show you the latest ones sold. This is an even better idea of recent price data. Now, I wanted it to go back three years to find all of them to give me an overall range, but now I want to see, have any sold like mine recently because the most recent prices are probably more reliable than prices three years ago. A lot changes in, in economy and such in three years. Here's one very similar to the one that I pictured. It even looks like it's in better condition. It sold for 10. We still don't know if that's because the seller doesn't know what the seller's doing, but Here's one for $8.50. Here's one for $30.22. Let's go down and find more like our $34. This is very similar to ours, or the one that I was showing you, $35, $27.50. These are pretty recent. These are within the last three or four months and maybe six months. And we're finding that, okay, our, our range is pretty good, $20, $25, $30, $75. But that's more, that's a little different type of, of, of can. 
It's it's a I don't believe ours is for kerosene. Here's one for 60, but it doesn't really look like ours. It's not as vintage as ours. Here's one for 14 that looks very much like ours with the spring action opening. That's what ours has. This seller sold it for 14, but some of these got a lot more. Here's 37 and so forth. This is what you do. You might think, well, tell us which one to choose. You don't. You only do what I'm doing, and you do it like in four seconds, okay? Once you get used to this, you're just going to go through and enter a few keywords and say, I want the last three years, and look it over, and you may have to do one, filter out the auctions, and you may have to do one more, add another keyword in order to filter out what you don't want, and then you might want to search, you will want to search for last date, so to get the most recent pricing, and that's pretty much all you do to get a price range. I'm telling you, it takes four to eight seconds whenever you get used to it. On a computer, on a web browser, the cell phone app for eBay is just beginning to roll out Terapeak, or this old, this performance price data that goes back three years on the cell phone app. As of the time of this recording, it's not there yet. So you cannot go back three years when you're at a yard sale and look and see what something might have sold for. If you can't find any recent sold comps, you just can't do, you can't go back any unless you're a member of something called WorthPoint, which is a website that goes back like 15 years. We'll talk about WorthPoint. But you have to subscribe to that and pay for that. Terrapix free for any eBay user. But you just can't do this on a cell phone yet. But this is a good way to look at your death pile and pick something out and decide. This can, I want to know approximately how much I can sell this for. And you can find that with Terrapeak, and that's what we do.